Soil Food Web is the whole picture. The well-being of all of us, it all starts with the soil. And if our soils don't have the minerals in it, don't have the biology in it, then we're all going to be deficient. We're all going to be unhealthy. This community, I think we're the only ones out there doing what we're doing. I have the utmost respect for Dr. Lane Ingham because she's a real maverick in the industry and she hasn't allowed herself to be influenced by other organizations, politics, or anything like that. It's strictly science-based. So science wouldn't be where so science is today without Elaine's research and how interrelated the organisms and the soil food web is and what it can do for plant growth and for the environment. Taking the courses and becoming a certified consultant is life transforming. I went from you know working for a large company to actually starting my own business. So my wife and I decided we were going to start Sprouting Soil, which is a soil biology consulting business. And and since then, you know, we've been taking on new clients, and it's put me into position to be able to help farmers transform from conventional or conventional organic to biological farming. Currently, with my consulting business, I'm working with farmers as well as compost producers, and. A lot of those clients have come to me via the Soil Food Web website as one of the listed Soil Food Web consultants and contacting me that way. By the time people start to make these phone calls, they're ready for a change. They're ready to switch over to a biological farming approach and they're just looking for some answers and a method to get to the goal with that. So with one client growing in a controlled greenhouse environment and dealing with a very destructive pest for a long period of time, we were able to completely eliminate the presence and pressure of that pest in about a three week period of time through restoring the soil food web. And they were certainly surprised that we could do that kind of work by just making some very simple changes. There's a lot of young farmers coming into the business. They can't learn this at agriculture college. It's not taught. So they're going to have to depend on consultants to actually guide them through. I'm really lucky with Jersey Hemp. They've actually employed me as their soil regeneration strategist. That's it. Hemp likes soil between 5 to 10% soil organic matter. They're trying to grow in soil at 3% soil organic matter and you end up with a tiny little stem with a little bit of flower on the end of it. And when I first started, they thought that was great. Now I'm getting 12, 14 foot high trees of hemp with about 10 branches full of flowers. The um, chemical approach has proven to be very detrimental. And once you get into the chemical approach, it's like a chemical addiction. You can't really get out of it very easily. You need a really good plan to help people switch. What's so great about being able to do the soil food web approach and help projects achieve this is that you solve real problems, but you solve it once and it's finished, it's done. My business, Harrington's Organic Land Care, we've had an affiliated soil food web lab since the mid 2000s, and it's been a real benefit. The soils that we bring back to life are just amazing. Some of my properties, I just see so much more wildlife. I see all these butterflies, I see bees, I see frogs, and where other properties that have been treated chemically, there's just no life left there. Mother Nature is so resilient and resistant that when you bring it back, it just comes back quick. I'm getting a lot of phone calls from potential students who are just feeling it out and want to talk to consultants about if they want to do the investments into the course and I always say for me to get to the level where I'm at it's a must as a building block. Without the Soil Food Web we wouldn't have this business. The training that we got from Dr. Elaine Ingham and all the knowledge that we gained from the classes has completely shifted our life path. The education that we were given by the school definitely gave us the tools that we needed to make this business possible, but the continued support from Elaine, from everybody involved, from the Soil Food Web community keeps it fresh. It keeps us pushing the bar every single day. Um, any question that comes up that we're just like, what are we going to do? They're answered. It's all right there, and uh, that feels really good. It's a satisfying career. We basically spend all of our time helping people, and that's something that you can feel good about.